What's going on YouTube? This is Shadow Pony with yet another episode of the Brony Guide. Now, today's episode is going to be rather interesting. Well, because of what I found a few months ago. And what I found is actually the official drink list from Brony Can. I managed to find that on their Twitter account. At first I didn't think much of it, but yeah, you know, kind of running low on I, on uh, topics as of late, so I thought, eh, what the hell, let's give it a go. Now I decided to divide this up in, I decided to divide the list up into two parts. Uh, this video is actually going to be the first part, and the second part shall come out later on. Uh, the first part is actually just going to be drinks that you can easily order in the bar and the second part will be, well the second video I should say, will be drinks that you are probably going to have to make on your own simply because of the ingredients that they have, uh, one in particular, but I'm going to get to that later. So, let's get on with that list. Shall we? So, as you can clearly tell by the picture, our first drink on the menu is Twilight Sparkle. In order to make this drink, you are going to need Siraku, Sour Raspberry, and Club Soda. If this combination sounds rather familiar, it's because, well, it is. This combination is actually the same combination used to make a porn star. However, instead of club soda, you simply use 7-Up. Now, the next drink on our list, of course, is Fluttershy. What you will need is creme de coco, banana on the rocks, with tonic water. Now, the Fluttershy cocktail is actually one of my more favorite drinks which I have tested thus far. The creme de coco and the banana liqueur is actually rather enjoyable and the tonic water is easily replaced by club soda if it is not available. Our next drink is actually Gilda, which is really more of a shot. You're going to need gin, amaretto, and Tabasco. Not surprisingly, this drink is rather fiery due to the Tabasco sauce. However, it is good nonetheless, and I strongly recommend dropping in only three droplets of Tabasco sauce, as anything else will be too much. Next, of course, is none other than Nightmare Moon. What you are going to need in order to make this drink is Mocha Kahlua, Dark Rum, and Irish Cream. Unlike most other cocktails on this list, this drink does not require any mixing due to the ingredients which it contains, and is one of my more preferred drinks due to the fact that it is more of a social drink than an actual party cocktail. Next on the list is the one and only Rarity, which in this case is once again a shot. In order to make this cocktail you are going to need gold shellacker, Irish cream, and French vanilla. Though this is a shot, I recommend that you drink this rather slowly, as, like Rarity herself, it has a lot of personality, and is great once you get to know her. Next on our list is a shot named after the fan favorite, Derpy Hooves. What you're going to need is Sambuca, Fireball, and Gin. Now do be careful, as this drink is guaranteed to get you wall-eyed. Next we have Final Scratch, which is actually two shots because every DJ knows a mix has to build to the climax. For the first shot, you are going to need Irish cream and Jamaica rum. The second shot requires gin, blue Syracuse, and lemon juice. As I said before, every DJ knows a mix has to build to the climax, and these two drinks are no exception. And finally, we come to our last cocktail of the video, 
A shot named after every pony's favorite assistant, Spike. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to make this last drink at home because it really is rather simple and easy to make. Uh, all you really need are just some Russian standard vodka. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, just grab your basic bottle of Smirnoff. It is actually considered to be Russian standard vodka. And just a bottle of Sericha hot sauce. that, And you can pick that up at any grocery store, any dollar store, basically anywhere that they sell food. So first just get your vodka. Get enough in there. Get your hot sauce, well, get your sriracha. Now sriracha is actually a, it's actually really a, it's more of a sweet hot sauce than an actual hot hot sauce. I don't really know why that is, but my guess is it has something to do with peppers. So. Pour and mix over ice. And mix well, obviously. When I open this up, it's actually probably going to pour all over me. Nope. Now this is actually a shot, so grab a shot glass and me I got a little brony shot glass right there I don't know how well you guys can see that in the camera but yeah so I actually I actually just picked this I actually picked this up at a store in my mall so <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a funnel so that I don't get this everywhere Sorry if it seems like I'm not that prepared for this. But it's because it's my first time doing this. So go easy on me. Okay, no fun. So I'm just gonna pour this in over the sink. Now I have had this drink before, so uh, for those of you that aren't really big vodka drinkers. I suggest that you skip this one. Me, my, well me, I'm not a big vodka drinker myself, so. Now again, I have had this before, so. Doesn't taste all that great, so. When you guys do have this, I suggest that you shot that you fire it back, just like I'm about to do. Here it goes. Well, you can definitely feel that hot sauce. So, not as bad as I remember it, but definitely good as a shot. Uh, first time I actually tried this was in a glass, in an actual drinking glass, not a shot glass, just a regular drinking glass. I'm gonna have another one of these. So. So, yeah, there's that, that's done. <clears throat> For those of you wondering where you can actually get one of these little drink mixers, 
Uh, I actually just picked this up at a little furniture store downtown. Uh, they're a really big retailer, but I think if you start asking around at you know, places that basically sell, that actually sell liquor, not the bars, but uh, beer stores and liquor stores and stuff like that, they might be able to help you out in finding one. Anyways, so this actually completes the first part of the Brony drink list, which I will be, well, I'll be posting part two sometime during the spring, hopefully. <clears throat> and that's actually going to be all the different drinks that you can't get into the bars. And I'm actually going to show Until next time, guys, this is Shadow Pony signing out.